This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a script I created that allows you to X-ray selected objects. X-ray selection is super helpful, so let's check it out. OK, to get to the new tool, if you come up here, if you own the full mega script pack, you'll see we've got a little icon here for X-ray. And basically, you just uh, select what you want to X-ray. So let's say we want to do these two objects here, and then just click the button. Boom, there you go. X-ray selection. Now, if you want to do those guys again, you can just click that to turn them back on. So it's a toggle, which is really nice. So you can go on, off, on, off. And then if you were to, let's say, X-ray this guy here and then select both of these, it would toggle and it would invert between the two. So toggle that guy to be solid and those guys to be off. So that can be useful too as well. Now, if you just want to like cancel everything out and get rid of it, you can just select nothing and then click it twice to get back to full. And then if you have nothing selected, it will x-ray all. So it has like everything built in. So if I click it, nothing selected, boom, there you go. You get x-ray all everything in the scene. If you have something selected, it x-rays just that. If you have a multi-selection of x-ray on, x-ray off, it toggles between the two. And then if you have nothing selected, it will do everything all off and then back on. So really nice. I find that a lot more useful than the Maya default one, which is always x-ray everything on, x-ray everything off, because often when I'm working, I just want to see like just this guy and go to x-ray mode there and do my work. But it's tough when like the whole scene goes. So I don't know. It's a personal preference, but I find this quite a bit more useful than the default behavior. As well, X-Ray Selected is really helpful when you're working with my other tool, the Instant Image Reference Planes, and I'll show you why. So if you're not familiar with that tool, what it does is it creates image planes that you can use to rotoscope and model around for reference from currently selected file nodes in the Hypershade. So I'm just going to open up the Hypershade by clicking this eyeball icon. And then on my left monitor, I've got a bunch of images selected. I'm just going to drag and drop those into the view here. And then I'm just going to zoom out, select all of those, and click the up downstream So just so we can get them vertically. So now, see, these are just a bunch of like whatever images, reference images. I was modeling an ice cream cone before, and I needed some images of it. So I'm just going to select all of the file nodes associated with all of that stuff. I'm just going to move this out of the way so we can see what's going on here. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click the image ref. And it's just going to magically go through and take all those file nodes and map them to quads and assign them the correct aspect ratio. So you can see in one click, I've gotten all of this reference here. So I'm ready to kind of start rotoscoping around it, tracing around it and modeling. So that can save a ton of time. I really like this. Some people prefer the image plane method, like setting it up through the camera or whatever. But I much prefer having the actual physical model in the scene. I just find it easier to work with. And on many occasions, I will actually like use the cut tool and like cut parts of it off and then like delete parts of it or whatever. Whoops. So uh, kind of depends on how you want to work, but I prefer working with image planes this way. So now one of the limitations, though, of working with the image plane in physical space is if you go into the side view here and you want to start tracing around it, like let's say we're just going to make a cylinder, scale that up, and we're going to start rotoscoping around this image, the problem that you may run into is that you can't see the image through the model. And if we switch to wireframe mode, you can't see the image at all. And so that was a problem. You would kind of be able to do this, but you know, that whatever, it wouldn't be very nice. And what people wanted is they wanted to see both at the same time. And since now that we have the x-ray selected with Maya's x-ray all, that's really not that good either. Because if you were to click this, it's like, uh, now that's like semi-transparent as well. So now that we have this, we can come and we can click this. And then you can see what you're doing there. So that makes working with this tool a lot better as well. So that's pretty cool. I love x-ray selected. I just think it's a lot easier to use than x-ray all. So hopefully people find this useful. If you've already purchased the Mega Script Pack or the Modeling Pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the Modeling Pack, or you can get it in the Mega Script Pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time.
Have a remarkable day.